have no idea if I'm live or not. I do that every single time, I'm assuming. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming from your reactions that I am live. I feel like every single time I'm ever going to be live, there's going to be like two or three minutes when I'm like staring at the camera awkwardly. I'm trying to change the light and colour on this because <laughs> I look quite weird. Can I change? It's not changing it live. Okay, well, never mind then. I don't have a bird camera this time because I usually stream with my iPhone. This camera here is usually my iPhone and for some reason it it's just not. OBS on the iPhone is not detecting anything which happens every time in every time in the past it's worked ultimately but this right this time it's decided it didn't want to so I don't know hello hello <laughs> everyone hearing me right I'm not oh good I can see thank you Anna <laughs> you I can see you are a veteran of my um of my <laughs> streams um Oh, okay. I can insert ads myself. I don't want to do that. Go away, YouTube. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have both of those together. Hi, everyone. Oh, gosh, there's lots of you. Hi. Hi, Bjorn. Hi. Oh, gosh, there's lots of you. <laughs> Mary. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. Love your art. Very inspirational. I appreciate that. Um, Desiree, I know, I really like having the bird cam and they're really active right now because obviously winter is coming. I really need to find a better system than my iPhone because you can see it's connected to my computer but OBS is just not detecting the connection. It's really frustrating. The camera is also better quality on my iPhone so I'd rather it was that but... Oh, thanks Nenning for the feedback. Hi Moody. Hi Michaela. Michaela? I'm not going to pronounce your usernames right by the way, I'm warning. Hey Mary, I think, are you are you stuck on your keyboard? Tabatha, thank you. Glad it sounds okay. I didn't realise until the very last minute that my, <laughs> my mic was not plugged in properly. Okay. Um, hi Desiree. Antigua. Antigua? 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 And Barbuda. Wow, amazing. What time is it there, Desiree? LD draws. I'm gonna be drawing my October too, as if this, as if it's playing good. That's the, that's the ideal situation. Is if you guys are also doing Inktober at the same time. Um, oh Kumo! Oh yes, I know. Thank you so much, Kiara. I think actually it should have shipped. I went. I just got back to the post office, so your orders should have shipped. You were my first print of uh, Water Ladies. So thank you so much for that. I'm gonna try and see if I can wipe this camera. One second. <laughs> I don't know if that makes the cam the video a bit clearer. I don't know. It's not the right aspect ratio either. Um, hi Virginia. Hi Jeremy Mo. How do you hi Judy? Oh yes, Bonlix. What's the uh, hashtag? I missed that in the chat. Sorry. 10.44 a.m. does he Oh wow. That's actually probably, is it like, is that like a good time? Is like a morning on a Saturday for those of you who are um, behind me a good time? Um, oh wow, Geronimo, Argentina. I love it when you get to know where you're from. It's so cool to know. It's absolutely amazing how we can connect with everyone. Uh, Germany, Devi, amazing. Painting spooky mushrooms for Inktober. <laughs> cool, what makes them spooky? That has a, I'm stuck at second prompt. I don't know what scurry is. Scurry is, um, it, it's, a, it's a verb, it's when you, I think, I might be wrong, but it's when you scuttle along, it's when you run a little bit fast like a, a mouse might scurry around. Um. Catherine, hello! Uh, so I'm not using prompts, um, 
so you guys can go ahead and use whatever prompts you want. I'm gonna be doing a redraw again because I lied in my video. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't a lie at the time. Well, it was a hopeful um, assumption that I, uh, by the time I had the video that I uploaded yesterday done, I would have had the time to then prepare a drawing for today. And um, I, I, you would think that after years and years of me doing YouTube, I would be aware that video takes absolutely forever to edit. And um, I, yet I, 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 I woefully underestimated how long that video was gonna to take to edit and uh, did not manage to prepare a drawing. So I do have an idea in mind, I do have a plan but we're gonna do a bit more of the prep today than I was expecting. I was expected to just have a drawing and then start inking it, but uh, I failed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna work on the idea together and I'll show you what I'm gonna redraw and how we're gonna go about it. Um, good luck with your market, Catherine. You're so busy. It's amazing. Like, I wish I had so many markets that I could apply to. That's one of the issues with the type of art I do as I don't get accepted into many markets uh I, so i think i'd do better in the states you guys have more uh more stuff like what i do but in london surprisingly the art the art market scene is very traditional and uh, they don't really like what i do which is a bit sad we can need a hashtag so we can all see the art we make during the stream that's brilliant let's do that did you, did you have an idea for a hashtag already? Because, uh, what could you do? Maybe one day I'll have a hashtag for my version of Inktober or whatever. I don't know. Uh, Desiree. Yeah, let's, let's think of a hashtag. Hi, Rebecca. Morning on a Saturday is perfect. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Oh, so you're all sort of in the same area. Well, not all, obviously, but a few of you are in the same area. It's 1048. Um... So a lot of you are in the morning right now. Link, hello! I hope you are well and that it was not too hard with the heat waves on your side. I really like the heat, so I didn't have too much of an issue. Um, my partner did not like it. Most people I know did not like it. Although to be fair, I'm saying that, but um, it was it was a bit much this year. It was a bit much. And uh, yeah, in England, it's just not equipped. It's I'm, I grew up in a part of France that does get quite hot during the summer, but we were just better. Everything was better built and you just deal with it better. Whereas in England, it just gets really heavy and not particularly enjoyable. So yeah, this year was not was not fun, but you, it's a bit scary that it's something that we're gonna have to get used to uh, the coming years, I think. Uh, yeah. Adrian, your art also gives me a sense of peace. I feel something that my mind can't explain because I like to draw surrealism as well. Thank you. I, uh, that's sort of what I strive to do. I often get asked if I can explain what my pieces mean and why I created them and and I can to some extent but it's, n it's always retrospective so I'll have a look back on the piece and understand a little bit better what I was trying to express but more often than not my response would be if I knew what I was trying to express I would have written it down rather than painted it so surrealism helps me you know, express the things that can't be said in words. So I'm glad that it resonates with you too. Hi Jana. May I ask how long you're probably going to stream today? Probably until six, so two and a half hours, something like that. Uh, it's uh, fairly flexible, but I, am, I have dinner with friends tonight, so probably not much longer than that. Um, I also find it exhausting to talk for more than like a couple hours at a time. I might get better at it and do it for longer in the future, but for now, two and a half hours is the average I do. Um, Michaela, which day theme are you most excited to draw for? I am not using the prompts, so I, I rarely use the prompts on Inktober. I think I tried them one year and I uh, didn't really enjoy it doing it. I, I Today I'm going to be redrawing. I'll show you actually. Let's jump into this. So this is, those of you who will know, with me for a while. This is my Inktober 2017 booklet that I did of all the drawings I did back then. This one is a misprint. I don't know if you can see, it's completely wonky there. So I did not sell this one. Um, but I have decided to 
redraw this one here. Oh god. Right, let's, uh, it really doesn't like the intense amount of black. I really need to find a better camera to stream the art with. Which one is it? Count Fedor. Fedor. Okay. Okay, that's better. Um, so I want to redraw this guy, this person, um, and try and give it the same treatment I gave the water lily one from yesterday's YouTube video. I this one. I want to make it a little bit more ethereal and a little bit less. This one's not quite as morbid, but as the other one I did, but. It still is a bit plain and I wanted to make it a little bit more whimsical and fit a little bit more into the type of work I like to do now, make it a bit more complex, stuff like that. So I will be trying to work on this one. Oh gosh, you guys are going fast. Uh, oh, thanks Mary. Love you too. Desiree, for the hashtag, do we include something related to the live stream? You can go ahead. Yeah, definitely do that if you want. Um, sorry, it's difficult for me to come up, come up with ideas on the fly while I'm also trying to keep up with the live stream. Um, I'll try and think of something too. Heather, second day of sinus infection here, so I will just be watching today. I'm so sorry. I had very persistent sinus infections last year um, that would not go away for about a year and gave me really bad headaches. Um, so I can relate and I hope you'll feel better soon. Catherine, also solidly because I'm curious, did TikTok and YouTube's flagging system influence your decision to book clothes on the human this time? No. <laughs> no, I, um, I felt like adding clothing sort of made it, made the character into a, a full-fledged individual, a person, rather than just, um, a more anonymous looking figure and also because the person is frontal usually I can get away with not ha really having my characters have any um, physical markers because I don't know if they're in less exhibited poses whereas this one is full frontal so I feel like people would have expected to see you know boobs and genitalia and uh, I think it could distract from the image if that makes sense um, I extended the legs further so let's find it yeah so I think for this one it worked quite well that the person was didn't have many markers but for this one it was a, I I wanted the clothes to be sort of breaking apart and so it made sense to have, I wanted initially the clothes to be floaty to sort of contrast with the downward weight of the whole piece because it's obviously the person is being attached, is attached by the roots to the floor that we can't see. So I wanted the floatiness of the clothing to add some levity and some lightness to the whole thing and a bit more, make it a bit airier and less heavy. Um, so I didn't actually, I could have just omitted the t-shirt and I would have, I, I quite like having flat chested characters. Um, and the underwear is mostly because I, again, I think people would have expected to see genitalia in the sort of pose I did, I did, I drew. And I just didn't want people to get overly focused on that um, because that's not really what my work really is about. Um, in the old drawing, the legs are together so that's less of an impact less of a question but in this one the legs were going to be a bit more dynamic so that's why I put, put underwear on that character does that answer your question <laughs> wait Mukut you're in Nepal wow that's amazing oh I'm not catching up with you guys sorry oh Catherine, but yeah, I've been rejected from a couple from my tarot cards and other Prince of Nudity, so it's definitely not totally better here. Yeah, I think 
yeah, it's, yeah. Nudity, anything that's slightly more alternative, tends to get people a little bit iffy on more conventional art markets, which is fine, but um, it does mean that a lot of us are more restricted if we do slightly weirder art, I think. Um, the Bathfire in Montana. Oh, Montana looks like it's beautiful. I get so much Montana like travel content on social media because social media has determined I like mountains and uh, yeah your state sounds gorgeous um, okay so ominously baked art I love that title I never knew you did live streams yeah I haven't done them for very long this is my third one um this is my third one on YouTube I did four I think in total in my life but I'm trying to get more regular with them because um it's uh it's quite fun Tava shorty do you live in the uk i do i do live in the uk i live in london um, i'm not from the uk though by the way look i received the proofs for the calendar yesterday um they are unbound i think that's probably because it's easier for them to do but they will come with a ring binding when i get the final versions thank you to everyone who got a calendar by the way you have literally no idea how much it means because it's uh it's really not that easy right now especially because um my reach has been cut on youtube and instagram which were used to be my main platforms and so um i've just not been doing as well financially lately so anyone who's been getting a calendar thank you very much i really appreciate it um Okay, Stephanie, well done for making, making it out of, out of bed. I would absolutely not get up at 8 a.m. on a Saturday, so I commend you for having way more self-control than I would. Um, <laughs> Bjorn, I didn't manage to watch your new video yet. That's okay, it's not been out for very long. I hope you'll enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, you are getting a spoiler here, <laughs> that's true. I don't think, I think the only people who had seen the final piece, the final redraw, are patrons up to this point. The YouTube video was the first time I revealed it. But yeah. This is going to be the art for the calendar. I did a mix of like old Inktober's. I had to include this one just because I think <laughs> it just circulates on the internet so much without credit that I thought I might as well <laughs> just uh, use it again, make it actual again. Um, this is a much bigger calendar than I did the previous years because obviously once it's open it's two a4s i'm sorry if the camera can i stop the camera from auto focusing camera control focus yes let's do uh, stop the focus yeah okay let's see because that's annoying uh I think I need to send them a new version of this one because this one is a little bit blurry and I don't enjoy that. So that's my proof for the calendar. That means that I will be able to contact the manufacturer next week and get it and get them to actually print the actual ones. Um, and then I'll be able to send everyone their calendar. Hey, thank you very much. You're great. You really are. Alex, you've made such amazing progress since 2018. Thank you very much. It was really fun to see. I did not expect to be able to sort of look at my old piece and have quite as much of an idea of how I could improve it. I thought I'd be a bit more confused than I was. And it was it was really enjoyable to see that I've, I've evolved in the way I can analyse my own work too, which is which is really fun. Obviously, progress is limited if you don't if you don't have external help. So I don't have a mentor or I don't take classes. I wish I could, but I can't afford to. And so obviously it's going to be limited to some extent if you're self improving. But I was really agreeably surprised that uh, things came a lot more naturally to me than I was expecting. Okay. So, I have my paper ready here. It's the same paper I used for the one in the video but I'm not gonna 
jump on this quite right away. Let's see. Tabatha, the clothes make sense and the shirt makes it whimsical. Thank you. Yeah, that's exactly sort of what I wanted to go for. I think it... Um, I'm, I'm getting more more used to having clothes but in my characters, but it does depend quite strongly on what kind of narrative I want. I, do I want the character to feel like an individual or do I want the character to feel like a metaphor for a larger group of people? And um, in this particular case, I wanted the person to look more like an individual with a personal story and I think dressing them sort of adds to that. Um, Nanning, I definitely feel the flowing material added to a sense of movement and also the light reflection made the feeling of being just below the surface stronger. Thank you. Yeah, it was... Uh, I didn't know whether I was going to be able to pull off the light reflection and it was really tricky and I'm not 100% sure I'm completely happy with how I did it either but it was the first time I tried it so I'm, um, I'm going to be happy with however much I managed and I think it still pulls off the effect, okay, so... Um, okay, do I have? Uh. Hi, creative cafe. I'm glad. I hope to be a, comp a good company for your for you guys' mornings. I should not have done this on my paper. This is not going to be fun to take off. Okay. Link, the cover is very beautiful. The shades of grey are super harmonious. Thank you. Um, I've not, I'm not super versed in using washes of grey to create values um, but I did want to try it for this one because it is something I've been trying to get better at and uh, it was really really scary <laughs> oh I don't have my iPad I was going to show you I did um, I put it on Patreon but I inked I'll show you the original I don't know why I keep using the print I did the background and then I inked the outline for everything and then I knew ah oh, this camera is annoying is the quality okay for you guys I feel like it's not great sorry um, I knew I was gonna have to be careful with my value range and I wanted to try and have delicate ranges of grey but I was really, really scared. <laughs> so I did a mock-up in Procreate first. I took a picture of my line work and did like grayscale on my iPad to try and get an idea of how dark I should go. And I'm glad I stayed as limited as I did at the top here, because even though things are not as contrasted as my natural instinct would be to make them, like I would have wanted to make the leaves darker and all that, I think narratively it works better if they are not because they don't draw the attention too much. It's one of the risks with having too a lot of detail at the top. If I had created a lot of contrast between all the elements, if I had made the leaves darker, um, it would have attracted too much attention, I think. I needed them to just be a prop in the background that you sort of know is here but doesn't draw your eye. I needed just the flower to be, the flower in the face to be the main centres of attraction. Um, Nenning, lovely overall image, really feels more sophisticated as an image. Um, thanks. I, yeah, I really, I really liked it. I wasn't sure I would. It's always a bit of a risk redrawing something because I did a redraw of my, of, a, of another one a few years back. In 2019, I did a redraw of one of my favourite ones, actually. I did a redraw of this one if, in 2019. And I actually don't think it needed to be redrawn. I chose it because it was a favourite. And I don't think I should have redrawn it. I think it 
it's one of those that works fine as it is and I think I'm sort of lost a little bit of its peaceful quality in the new one. It's a different piece, the new one, rather than a reinterpretation. I think the original in that in that specific redraw <coughs> I think the original was nicer. Um but for this redraw I'm really happy with it. So yeah. Um Stalex Bon Links. Yeah, you are talking about kindling, aren't you? I think. Is that what you're talking about? It's one of my most popular prints, that one. Not this one, but the finished painting of it. Which actually I might do redo one day because I think I could do it better justice. Maybe. Maybe I've jinxed myself now, but we'll see. There's so many of my pieces that I would like to redraw with my current skill set. But I also have so many other ideas, and so I need to focus. And uh, I'm not good at focusing, so yeah. Gonna have to, but. <laughs> Wandering journey out to just hit 8 a.m. where I am, and my toddler is scribbling, and I'm transferring a sketch into watercolor paper while listening to you. Oh, that sounds really nice. That sounds really lovely. Virginia, is this still available to order the calendar? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, sorry, as, I, as I, I would have usually sent the calendar to you patrons at the, your tier, but this one is quite a bit more expensive than the ones I usually made in previous years. In previous years, I used Awesome Merch, and I don't know if you guys are on Awesome Merch Twitter, but they have completely gone down the drain. Absolutely wild what's happened to that company. Very sad, and uh, they are screwing over so many artists. As there was no way I was going to use it this year, so I had to find a new a new manufacturer. It's surprisingly difficult to find a manufacturer that will do a calendar that's like two A fours vertically like that. They just they didn't want to. They wanted it to be landscape, so you'd have like the image there and the dates there, and obviously that doesn't really work for the formats I like to work in. So. I had to contact so many people and I finally found someone who can make the calendars but they are quite a bit more expensive and I can't afford to give them to $20 patrons unfortunately. I wish I could. I wish I could give you patrons everything honestly because you are keeping me afloat. <laughs> but uh, yeah the calendar is available to Virginia and uh, obviously your discounts work on it. So I also by the way peep, everyone um, I'll tell you now, I will have a sale at the end of October, so if you don't want to get the calendar now, I'm sure I'll have some by the end of October. I really strongly doubt they will sell out before then, so if you are looking to get a calendar but they're a bit too pricey right now, I'll have a discount. Probably 20% and 25% for patrons, or maybe a bit less, I don't know, I'll see what I can afford, but I'll definitely have like an end of year sale at the end of October, so you can wait for that if you want. Um, Adrian, I love to wake up and write down my dreams and then start drawing my dream. That's really cool. That's a good idea. I use my imagination. I really like, I really like that. I don't think I'd be able to do that because my dreams are quite, my dreams are never surreal, strangely enough. My, well, they are surreal in the way dreams are, you know, where stuff jumps between different things and nothing's really linked, but they're not vis visually surreal uh, in the way that my work is. So, um, my dreams tend to be anxiety driven, so I'll remember my dream is, dreams if I've had a lot of anxiety. And if I don't remember my dreams, they, then I'm assuming they were good dreams and I don't tend to remember those. <laughs> DV, why mornings? Um, it's actually afternoon for me here, it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Our creative cafe, cool. I hope. What's your creative space? I want to know. Didi, I notice your social media isn't doing as well, probably due to the algorithm. How are you able to stay financially stable? Well, uh, diversify your revenue sources is key. So, um, yeah, it's been. I've taken a hit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not doing super well financially, but I'm still afloat. Like I'm still able to pay for food and my rent which given how much my rent is, is a win in itself, I'll admit. Um, but
but it's very month to month at the moment but even though my social media has taken a hit i'm still able to survive because i've got patreon which is paying my rent which is incredible honestly i try not to insist too much on the fact that um patrons are the reason i survive right now just because i don't want to guilt anyone into staying like i don't want anyone to feel like they are responsible for me being okay you are not you are people in your own rights and obviously i don't want anyone to feel guilty about not being able to support me or having to leave or so i try not to emphasize too much that but i do also want to thank i do also want to be very grateful for everyone um who buys things and supports me and patrons in particular because they are usually a lot of them have been with me for a while uh, it's genuinely amazing <laughs> it really is and uh thanks thanks to patreon mostly i can i still i'm still okay i also do i've been on youtube for long enough that uh i get passive income from my videos so i get adsense um and i sell prints so i don't sell tons and tons of prints my shop is not super active but people do tend to i sell a few prints every week and it's usually enough all of that together to keep me afloat uh, so I'm not thriving, you know, I'm not, I have, I don't have lots of, uh, how do you call it, um, spending money, you know, there's a term, I don't remember what it is, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm doing okay, I don't need a lot, it's the good thing, I don't live an extravagant lifestyle, I don't need tons, I wish I could make a little bit more, but um, I'm sure we will be okay, things are really tough for everyone right now, um, you know, it's not really anyone's fault everyone is struggling and uh, I'm really grateful that I'm okay, I'm still okay which is uh, quite amazing so thank you <laughs> um, okay welcome back creative Faye. exhortations of an artist perfect I just got up and I'm drinking my coffee enjoy uh, light law yet law law yet are you following any prompts I am not I am not okay I'm gonna try and keep do I have a print of it? I don't have a print of it. Mm. It's gonna be tricky. So I'm redrawing one of my 2017 pieces. I'm redrawing this one. Try and see if I can keep it in shot so it makes sense. And so. Hello, trigger warning. <laughs> extempore what has been to awesome much so i don't know exactly the very the nitty gritty but the the guy who's at the head of the company has sort of screwed up and uh they have not been able to fulfill a lot of orders they've left a lot of people who spent money and ordered stock from them um high and dry and they haven't sent them either refunds or their products um there's lots and lots and lots of reviews of people who just haven't gotten what they paid for and uh, just generally speaking, I think it's just mismanaged. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, I think the staff wasn't treated very well, wasn't very well paid. It's all, it's all very messy and very sad for the people who have been um, affected by it in the company and the artists who've ordered stock and stuff. So it's quite awful. So I hope people will be okay. Um, love the red draw on the flower and water inspire me to try ink again enjoy ink i hope you'll enjoy them have fun oh i'm missing some stuff sorry adrian i don't know what that was Mel 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 melissa why do i know how to pronounce your name in french and then for some reason i'm struggling to know how to pronounce it in english melissa uh, how do you come up with ideas well well uh I browse art a lot, so I I have a lot of Spectrum books and I like using TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest and I, it's not so much that I sort of look at stuff and think that it's giving me an idea but just by being immersed in it a lot, it sort of seeps in, I don't know if that makes sense. You know, it's like when you listen to lots of music and then your brain will be sort of singing to itself a little bit, it's a bit like that, so I stay I imbued in lots of art all the time to try and that tends to create to make my mind quite creative 
um, and energized to think of ideas. And then as soon as I have ideas, I write them down, even if I don't like them initially. I write them down. It doesn't need to be like a sentence or description. It just needs to be a couple of words. And then I can look back on everything I've written down. I don't know if... Oh, I don't want to move anything because I'm scared of what's going to happen <laughs> if I move a camera. But I have... You can see a corner of it in the background there. I have a static whiteboard. It's just stuck to my wall with static. And I write ideas down there. And so I reread them quite regularly. And then usually when I reread a night year, It'll bring new ones to the surface and uh, yeah just sort of how it works with synergy really um, hi creative Christy oh Alice good I'm glad you're feeling better <laughs> taking care of yourself Catherine Pearson expendable income that's the one thank you yes so I don't have much of that but that's okay I don't need tons of it um, I'm just happy. So long as I can keep doing this as a job, honestly, is the main thing I need. And right now I'm okay. So um, hopefully I can, you know, I would like things to get better in the future, obviously, because I would quite like to one day have a house <laughs> or a family. Or even before that, I would like to have enough money that I don't have to worry about, about spending it when I want to go back to my family in France to visit. But... I think it, it'll be okay, you know, just keep going and find new ways and right now what I'm going to do is that people are really, people are struggling, I think people are a lot, the world's quite hard right now, so I want to try and step away from, if I, I'm not going to be able to do so entirely, but, you know, try and rely on big corporations, so I'm going to try and use YouTube more and, and hopefully get them to pay me. So I don't have to rely on asking other people to buy my stuff as much because I feel, you know, I don't, I want to, I don't want to put that pressure on people. I, I would like, you know, YouTube can spare a bit of money for me, um, whereas, I, you know, individuals, everyone's struggling. So do my best not to put that burden on other people. Um, ja, hi. Okay. I've been chatting and not drawing. I'm sorry. <laughs> LVH author. What artist do you study? What artist is your favourite? Uh, study? I don't know. I don't tend to study. I don't know. Like. I really like. I'm not going to be able to pronounce his name. Huao Huaz? Feral Kid? Um, I don't know if I pronounced that properly. He's Spanish, I believe, and uh, his value control is amazing. He's a f he used to do a lot of work for the Fable Fables comics, um, and he is oh his work is just fantastic, and his value range is incredible. I think he's got so much control over that. So I do look at his work quite a lot to study that, and. Uh, you know when you ask someone what their favourite thing is and then everything that's related to that topic just leaves their brain? That's what you've just done to me. <laughs> I have no idea what artists I like. Oh my god. I forget. I can see images but I've forgotten the names of everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didi, I've been following you since 2018. I love your art, your personality. And if I get financially stable, I want to buy prints and stickers from you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Like, you don't, you just don't, you know, no one has to buy things from me, obviously, or support me on Patreon. So, um, it really means so much when anyone decides that they, they can and will. And uh, I don't begrudge anyone for not doing so, but... I particularly appreciate when you do, if that makes sense. I don't know. It, it means the world to artists because it means that we have put something out there that you guys feel brings something to your lives. And uh, I think that's, that's really an honour. So thank you for considering to support me that way. And I hope, if even if you don't, I hope that you will get financially stable and that you'll be good and doing well. Uh, I'm rambling so much. I'm sorry. 
creative. You liked my monster sculptures and feather boxes. Yeah, I love my monster sculptures. I wish I could do more of them, but um, uh, sculpting, sculpting takes a lot of time and effort, and I don't have that time because I'm trying. I barely have the time to draw these days, so I've got so much to do. Okay, so I'm going to quickly walk you through what I want to change in this piece. So the anatomy on this piece is a bit wonky, quite a bit wonky. Um, I've been looking back through my 2017 artwork and I still really like them and they really remind me of such a fun time. Um, Inktober was just so much fun in 2017, I enjoyed that so much and I was uh, quite unhappy with my job at the time so Inktober sort of got me out of that and I felt really proud of it and it was really fun. And But looking back on it with what I my skills for now, I can really tell everything I could improve. Um, all my hands in my Inktober 2017 series were so big. I think part of it was intentional. I do like big hands. I still do. Like my hands are not entirely proportionate in most of my work because I do enjoy being having large hands. But um, I think they were a little bit too big. So yeah. I think we'll see a little bit of the same problem there was in the piece I redrew in my uh, in my YouTube video, which is that obviously it makes more sense in this piece, but the, the ribs are very prominent and it's, it's one of the difficult things of surrealism because it makes sense that you should see the skeleton so much because obviously the idea is that the skin is this veil and we completely forget the concept of muscles, they don't exist, organs, muscles, fat, all of that, not present in this imagery obviously, so I have to bypass those. But as a result, it does make the character look a little bit gaunt and a little bit more morbid than I was intending. I don't want my characters to look like they're dying because that's not what I'm trying to represent. Um, everything I do is very metaphorical and not meant to look like the character is... Um, desiccated <laughs> wait you're like I don't, I'm looking for a word I can't grasp it so I think even though it's clear that I'm not taking into account muscles and organs and all that in the imagery adding the idea of them in this area I think would add to the sense that the person is alive and not dying because seeing the ribs there's something about it that is it's difficult to see to see rib ribs without feeling that the person may be unwell in this context. So padding the chest a little bit more and I might not go up so far with the skeleton. I want the dress in the new piece to be made of lace. I want something very delicate, very pretty and to go to contrast with the sort of, um, I'm having a French word in my head, the sort of more, more morbid side of the imagery. So I don't think I'll show the spine quite as high and I won't show the ribs at all. Um, and I think, yeah. So the arms are a bit too big and too long. All the head is too small, not sure. The head is a bit wonky, the perspective is wrong and it's a bit of a, you know, the skull wouldn't be quite so round and big. It would probably like, I don't know if you can see that, go back like that, and then the peak would be there, and then it would go back down, even that's not quite right, but, I'm gonna have to have some reference on this, but it, would, it wouldn't be so big, realistically, and then the perspective is a bit wrong, The eyes would need to be on a different sort of plane. This one would need to be a bit lower. And I think the ear can go a bit further back. The nose would be a bit different in perspective too. But I don't think I'm gonna keep this head angle. I want an angle, I'm thinking of, let me show you what pose I'm thinking of. Extemple art, I had to move to my, my studio back since energy prices rise turn half my living room into studio, meaning 
awkward when I have visitors, which isn't often. I have I never have any visitors, so yeah, I can relate to that. Um, well, we have a visitor tonight, but we're going out. But <laughs> are you in the UK, Extempore? Because the energy prices isn't. I don't want to think about it. I think my boyfriend and I are going to be okay, but I can't even begin to imagine if we had a child, for example. Um, it it breaks my it breaks my heart. I I. If I wasn't with my partner, I don't think I'd be able to live on my own in London. I wouldn't be able to rent anywhere. The prices have gone insane. I don't think I'd be able to afford to buy in every... F it's... Oh, it's... I don't know. It's horrible. Um... Oh, sorry, Alex DB. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should have written the name in the chat. I forget I can actually type in chat. Um, oh, I've, I've lost a lot of you. Sorry. Sorry if I don't keep up with chat. I really feel... I find it difficult to let go of the guilt from not reading all your comments and responding to literally everyone's questions. I'm sorry. Brazil. That's the one, Alex. He's from Brazil. Uh, his art is just incredible. Oh, he's so good. Um, right, so let me show you the pose that I'm thinking. I, so the shoulders are a little bit wrong here too, so they wouldn't be quite so ex so exaggerated, um, I don't think. The shoulder here should be a bit higher, the arm wouldn't go quite so far. Like, your elbow, generally, is okay, is okay here, it's the end of the rib cage is where your elbows sit. So. That's okay, but I think the arms are a little bit big. Especially, I think the head is a bit small in this piece. Um, oh yeah, the hashtag. Okay, let's think of a hashtag. Uh, ink stream. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be very bad at coming up with a hashtag. I'm very bad at coming up with um, nicknames. My boyfriend has an incredible talent for it, and I really suck at it. And. Um, I feel like I'm going to be the same with anything relating to finding something peppy and fun. So, so I want the head to be... Moody... Catherine, I think it's because of malnutrition that we associate ribs with death of disease. Yes, so... Um, we have, whether we are right in percep perceiving something like that, that, that or not is irrelevant, but as humans we are very tuned to things looking slightly off because we have to, for like instinctually for survival, you know, animals will be the same. If another animal looks a little bit odd, they'll tend to self-preserve first and assume that something is wrong and you sort of tend to be very wary of it. So, you know, some people can be, I used to be really, really thin. Uh, naturally my ribs were showing and all that um, so it didn't mean that you're necessarily unhealthy but we do tend to assume there's certain markers like that that will instinctually make us think oh careful and um, and ribs showing is one of those so it's easy for us to look at, at ribs showing and think that's too thin something must be wrong and in the context of surrealism it's particularly heightened because any imagery that I might be drawing will usually involve some sort of body modification and that paired with it, with the ribs being too apparent, will give the message that the person is not very well and, and that's not what I want to project, so it's very delicate to navigate. Um, Salmon Kutcher, oh, did you ask something about AI? I missed that. <laughs> the, uh, the spicy topic of the moment. Um, even digital illustration of all the coffees cannot reach the wow effect of traditional media. Great artists place their soul and essence in their artwork. AI has no soul. It, it's, it's a discussion, isn't it? I think I'm very wary of, of calling AR not art. I don't think even the topic is really about that. Um, I think so much of it is just that. It exploits people's work for and at this point in time. Um, M. Tilson stream? That works if you want, yeah. 
What did I want? I had images. I had made references of myself. I took pictures of myself for reference for this specific stream. No, I don't have the ones I need. Those are just hands. Uh, Extempo, I struggle at titles for my artwork. Oh my god, you should see me when I'm trying to come with the title. Sometimes the titles come naturally, and sometimes. Oh, I spent hours on thes thesaurus, <laughs> just trying to find synonyms that sound... Uh, this is not quite right, this hair angle. So I would like, I'm thinking I would, in this image, I would like the character to be standing in, in water, I think. I'm into water at the moment. And... Oh, I'm not. And lifting this the dress. I like the idea of the character looking at the viewer. I find that that can be quite striking. Or slightly over the shoulder of the viewer, so into the distance, basically. And I think what... If the character is standing... still and sort of lifting lifting the dress um hello young lilac welcome I blank. I know your name. Oh my god, why am I forgetting your name? I know your name. It's on the tip of my tongue. Helium Sword. Hello, fellow artists. Hope you're having a good day. Yes. Oh my god, this is horrible. You're making me sad. I'm so sorry for forgetting Tilsentober. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Bjorn, I think AI will have a place to quickly visualize concepts or do mock-ups. I agree, it's especially in, for example, ad agencies, but since it's trained with existing art, I can't really create new art. Yeah. I think it will definitely be a tool for art that will take artists jobs um, it's it's a really complicated morally discussion the whole AI thing because AI is going to replace a lot of things right now it's not doing good enough but it's going to learn very very fast and it's going to replace a lot of things including artists in some capacity um, and I don't, I don't like the idea of it, obviously, but it's a, it's a world that we're going to have to learn to navigate. It's really complicated. Um, Sheila, oh my god, I know it's Sheila. I'm sorry, I know that, I knew it. I'm sorry, I knew, I knew it, I promise I knew it. I just, mm! I'm sorry. I'm really angry at myself because I know I know who you are. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I just blanked. I'm sorry. Um. A hopeful art. Have you thought of moving out of London? Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> um, we're trying, but it's it's not that easy because uh, my boyfriend needs to be in London for work. So, well, he needs to be able to have access to London for work. And and to be honest, there's more opportunities for me in London, even though I don't really take advantage of them at this point in time. But, so what if some of the dress was sort of floating on the surface like this? And then... Oh, 
there's a bird and you can't see him. I'll get the verb come up and uh, up and working next time. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Where does AI get its images from? It um, basically every other artwork on the internet it just gleans all the images of the internet. People are just feeding AI images from the internet, so there's no. It's what's one of the big issues with it at the moment is the is the uh, issue of copyright. So, um, how much of the images that it's fed does it use to create other images? And uh, right now, it's apparent that it you it just modifies the images it found it finds, which is questionably moral morally ethical. Um, and so, it's one of the big problems. If if artists have not agreed to have those tools that are taking their jobs using their work uh, then it's a big issue and there needs to be regulation in place for that um, some and guys uh, using unions well there's no legislation right now so artists unions are few and f like very difficult to find honestly but yeah, there needs to be some sort of there needs to be some sort of regulation around it and people rallying behind it, behind the idea that but defending our art against it being used in AI. But it's really tricky to know where that's gonna go. So I'm gonna use an app called 3D Anatomy for the Artist to figure out the skeleton. This is also creepy. He's staring at me. So I would like this character to have hair that sort of mimics the dress. Oh, that's a bit weird not quite so unhappy looking more like looking into the distance mm. so I want it to be like crystal clear water either crystal clear water or dark water and for the bones to either be dark or be very contrasted so if the water is very dark I want the bone structure that's showing to be now they're not showing both legs that's annoying so this would be where have the bones like this although they're a bit low actually I think they would need to be a bit lower than that uh, ribs ribs oh. that mouth bothers me Something more like that, maybe? Can I put you in closer? Do you want to be in closer? I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah, so basically, if the water is dark, I would want the bones to be bone white. And if the water is crystal clear, it'd be a bit darker, but the contrast wouldn't be as sharp. I think if the water is dark, it could be creepier but I do like that um, I think I've got the perspective on that a little bit wrong but um, 
Yeah, if you're a fine art painter, illustrator, you've got nothing to fear. Um, as in, you mean traditional art or... Um, uh, yeah, we're not we're not going to be as threatened by it, but I don't think that's going to last. Um, digital art is the standard for most of, you know, industry stuff, so posters and things, and uh, for good reason. Like it's easier to iterate and create art quickly for clients and stuff, and. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of jobs. Fine art, being a fine artist is really hard. <laughs> I think most, most artists don't want to have to survive off of their traditional art because it's really hard. Hit Record TV has terms where you know other artists might remix your work. Yeah, what's, what's Hit Record TV? Yesterday I was trying to draw you, and this is a new project for me. Draw me. It's just another tool, and I'm not worried about AI, its connection in the end. Yeah, well, th th that's the thing. Like, most things are tools. It's the, w it's the way people will want to use them that's an issue, and that needs to be regulated, like anything, really. If it's, if it's got potential to create exploitation and, uh, and be, un you know, an unfair an unfair standard or if it allows for um I, I personally i believe that society should be built around respecting the work of its members and we should a society's ro role in the world should be to make life easier on the humans who are part of it and uh, if something is allowing for that to be Stop telling me to add ads, YouTube. Go away. If a tool allows for the prioritization of exploitation, exploitation, then I think it should be very heavily regulated. But you know, that's just me. What is your favorite part of the creative process? Um, painting. It's complicated to answer because everything makes me want to cry. Um, and I create because I have to, rather than because um, it it's a source of it is a source of joy. But I create because it's a compulsion. It's something that I have always had to do, and I can't imagine not doing. And I would be quite unhappy if I didn't do it. But it doesn't mean that it brings me unlimited joy. Because <laughs> I cry a lot. <laughs> I I cry a lot, and uh, every part of the process makes me cry in a way, in some way or another. So. I think my favorite part is the painting process. So once I've got the concept down and it's up there on the paper and I can just bring it to life with paint, that's my favorite part. And um, something about the sound of pencil, very calming. You can hear it properly. Oh good, I'm glad my, pe my I'm glad my mic is picking things up properly. So here's sort of, the rough again I the perspective on this is really wrong why do I feel I think part of the it's, it's always a tricky part with doing surrealist concepts it's like oh it's because this is not really supposed to be there um you never quite know if things look wrong because they are intentionally wrong or if they are if they look wrong because this is not helpful because um, you've mod because you've actually drawn them wrong. Let's see him. Yeah, let's be better. So that's the spine will go like that. I think that's a little bit more correct. It looks a tiny bit better, but it's still difficult for me to tell because obviously there's his whole part here that is not anatomically correct because it has to be <laughs> to be incorrect. But I can't quite tell if I'm doing it wrong or if it's just that it's the way it's built. Am I making sense? I don't know. So the idea would be if the character was standing 
in in water and staring somewhere above our shoulder so not straight at the viewer and have they'd have this lace dress ow my hair got caught in the camera I'd, they'd have this lace dress that was be sort of floating away not away but floating around them but it would also be their skin so it wouldn't have like straps or anything it would just connect straight to the chest and bit like that um yes I mean traditional media digital tried to replace us in the early 20s and it failed I mean yeah I think traditional art will always have a place but I don't know I don't know, it depends on how much people get used to things. We don't have the same place we used to, but traditional art doesn't have the same place it used to. And, and I'm hoping it'll be a similar, a similar situation with AI. I, I, I don't, I'm not worried personally that AI will replace human artists, as in just the thing about making art. But I think there's a strong potential that it will lead to exploitation of artists and just basically lots of artists losing their jobs because it's easier to use AI um, and I think that would be that would be really disheartening <laughs> um, Link a commission to an artist is too complex to be handled by AI but that's the thing I do believe AI will get good enough. I think it's that's I think it's it will. Um I don't know when, but it's gonna learn fast, I reckon. Uh is it possible to make the volume up a bit? Sorry, it's part of, it's partially me too. Is this better? Oh no I know, I'm gonna try and can I do it here? Is this better? Can you hear me better? Am I not clipping? Because it looks like I'm clipping. But <coughs> let me know if it's if the sound is better like that light. Young lilac, every part makes me want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of artists feel it. It's just I cry so much when I'm painting. My boyfriend is so bored from me just coming into my work my studio while I'm painting something. And asking me how I am and I'm just like it's going so terrible when I can't paint anything and this seems to... I, every time every time I don't learn well I do learn I know to expect it I know it's gonna happen it just hits me the same every time I will start painting and there'll be a stage in the painting where I just I'm despaired <laughs> which I'll just look at the thing and just go why did I choose this as a job this is insanity and I'll just get really down and then I'll finish the painting and I'll be like oh that worked okay I won't necessarily be super happy but I have finished it and it'll just be oh all right, okay that wasn't that dramatic <laughs> but uh, every time every time it feels like the end of the world it's, it's bad <laughs> yeah the digital art market is crap for the most part yeah I mean I feel like a lot of our society is cruel and ableist an ultra capitalist and art just doesn't fit in that really does it and it's uh, yeah they do tend to hire third world countries it's it's just uh, but that's not really the fault of digital art i think it's just a fit the just society we we have built is not very human anymore and uh it's we've lost track of why we've built societies which is to escape the cruelty of the natural world <laughs> and in and take care of each other and uh, we've lost track of that and uh, now it's all about not uh what's the name of that app it's amazing the app i'm using currently is called licorche i don't know if it won't it doesn't have autofocus anymore 
Um, let me focus real quick. It's called that, Les Corchers. So I use this one and this one and this one lots. And they're all, I think the most expensive one was Les Corchers. This one is really cheap. I don't remember the price of this one, but none of them were that expensive. And they're really, they're really useful. I use them extensively. To, um, oh good, I'm glad it works like, thank you. Um, yeah, they're all very good apps. The arms are too small. In the sketch, yeah, 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 yeah. No, the proportion's a bit off. Um, I, I'm not too worried about it. This is mostly just to iterate the pose and the basic concepts are basically them standing in the water. Um, so I think that's what I want to go for. A pose where they are... And I want something to be a bit light about it. So something that I, I think could look quite nice. I'm not painting this. I need to remember I'm doing this in ink. Um, I was going to say I, I might do like a sunset on the lake, but I'm not sure I'm good enough to pull off the light effect in ink. And um, yeah. Uh, only Ella, I've been a fan of your art for a few years and just want to say you've been inspiring to my own artistic journey and gosh, just wanted to thank you all. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. You guys are very nice. I always worry that I'm just rambling and saying nonsense and annoying everyone. But you're here, so I suppose it means I can't be too terrible at this. <laughs> I don't know. Another creator, Christy Miriam. I'm usually pretty quiet on social media, but I just want to say that you have been such a huge inspiration to me. I really appreciate that. I'm a quiet person on social media. I very rarely comment on things. I try to comment, but I don't do it that much. And uh, so I appreciate, I really appreciate that because uh, I know what it takes to not be quiet. And uh, thank you very much. I'm sorry I'm doing that thing again where I lower my volume of voice and uh, my mic. I'm hoping my mic picks it up. Picks, picks, picks it up. Uh, our society can't continue the way it is with all the energy issues, ecology. Well, yeah, that's that's true. People are going to lose their job in the coming uh, in the coming years uh, for reasons both valid and not, and it's going to be very complicated. I agree. It's one of the of the things that is incredibly difficult about having such huge societies. It's incredibly difficult to... Every decision you make, everything, every change you implement, every policy, every everything, will always impact some aspect and some people badly. And it's so complicated to know which one needs to be done and which doesn't. And very, very complicated. It's really heartbreaking. And I have difficulties. I have difficulties being all that positive about the future. I try to be, and my partner is really wonderful and really smart, and reassures me. And he's got a good head on his shoulders, and he is um, my counterweight for when I get a little bit doomsday. But I find it that I find it hard to. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's difficult to be positive about how things are going to go in the future which is why I'm, I, I, I'm extra extra grateful for the life I'm able to lead even when it's hard even in times like this right now where I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to survive the next month or stuff like that I just I'm still privileged enough I'm, I'm so privileged <laughs> to be doing this as a job to have a family that supports me to have a partner that supports me to I, 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 unbelievably unbelievably privileged and I will never live that down. Like, I just, just absolutely, I, I try to be really grateful about every single bit of privilege I have because it's incredible. And, um, and yeah, in the face of how the world treats a lot of people at the moment, 
try to be grateful of what I, I have. Um, and yeah, I'm babbling. I have no idea why there's an argument going on. I have one looks handy. It is. They've known. They they they're very good at. Na they they've named it well. Except they used to be only hands, and now they've got lots of other things. So the name was restrictive, and <laughs> they had to expand a bit. Um, I enjoyed when you did the shorts about your day. You did. I'll do more of those. I really enjoy doing those. Um, I, I want to do them regularly, like every week or so, but it's difficult to remember to film <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, and I know I, I, my life isn't super varied and doesn't get super complicated. I don't do a ton. Um, what What's my next move of this? I don't do a ton and so I don't know how interesting it is to have a weekly vlog where basically all I do is run my business and do art and go on random walks <laughs> but I, I want to try and make them more often um I am missing stuff I'm sorry there's a big discussion about AI art that I have not been following very hard sorry it's hard to draw focus to just love hearing your chat and thoughts. Feels like hanging out with you and everyone who loves you and your art. Once you're finalizing this, it would be amazing. Thank you, Virginia. It's really nice to be able to talk to um, those of you who've been patrons that I mention regu message regularly. Oh, what am I doing here? Um, it's nice to chat live with you guys too. Um, sorry, Miriam, for the troublemaker. That's okay. So long as you guys are polite to each other and you know, it's, it's you guys' chat. I can't keep up with everything and I think the AI conversation is very it's it, it, the emotions are really high around it but it is I don't I'm very keen I personally I, I'm keen not to talk about anything anything not being art because where do we draw the line and I don't like that I think art takes many forms but I don't think the real discussion around AI is whether it's art or not. The problem right now is how exploitative it is and how there is no regulations. And I think a lot of the discussions that I find really annoying too is the people who are suddenly finding their creative streak, but in a very capitalist way, where they are clearly dabbling in AI art in the same way crypto bros were dabbling with NFTs. And the way they talk about the art they create is very derogatory towards anyone who's been an artist more traditionally for a long time. And I find that irks me a little bit. Um, it's like they want, they pretend they want to be artists, but in reality they're doing it because it's the new cool thing and it probably won't last and they don't actually get to appreciate the artistic process very much. So I don't know, I'm losing my thoughts, but it's a complicated discussion and emotions are very heightened. So, so long as everyone's nice to each other, um, please don't, you know, be cruel to each other. But, yeah. Um, you're lucky my partner is the most doomsday person I know. I swear my little goth self feels like a bumbly butterfly next to him. <laughs> to be fair, I'm like the high... I'm the happy, bubbly thing in our relationship. And he's the more, the calmer, slightly more pessimistic sort. But for some reason, but he understands a lot of things better. Like he's more focused towards um, the outer world than I am. I tend to be very into him. I'm very emotional, not in the bad way, but like I'm focused on emotions and I'm about, and about, I'm about inner world and I'm about that sort of thing. And he's very more pragmatic, more Cartesian. He analyzes the world and looks at the big picture better than I do, so we sort of counterbalance each other. Anna, you love those shorts. Oh, good! I'm so glad you guys are enjoying those shorts. I'm sorry I'm not drawing very much in this stream. <laughs> I should have. I really should have prepared this drawing in advance, and I didn't. And I'm sorry. Um, I do like the pose of this reference, to be honest. So, if we're doing this. There's so many birds. Uh, finish the sketch of my gargoyle. Took me about three hours. That's really good, though. Like I regularly take 
hours to finish sketches. So definitely be proud of that. Are you happy with your sketch? And what's the gargoyle doing? Would love more vlogs, love your little one, short ones that you put up. Thank you. That's so encouraging. Thank you guys. I appreciate that you like them and we'll be doing more because um, they're fun and I cannot do long form content all that often on YouTube. God, it takes me so long. Uh, <laughs> so I'll do, um, so I'll do, I'll do a, a bit of an effort to do shorts. I just don't know whether people want shorts because personally I don't watch shorts on, on YouTube, but it might just be because I've got TikTok and TikTok's just better at that short form content type of thing, even though it's evil. But I don't watch shorts on YouTube, so I don't know whether my audience wants to see shorts. I have overshot on this drawing here. This is too long. This is <laughs> completely overshot. Where's my... And yeah, Alex, I, I agree with you and Sam and, um Oh no, I don't agree at all. You misread what I said. I don't know what you disagree with. But yeah, I really, I think AI could be amazing. As a tool, it's really fascinating. But yeah, I agree. It's the market and it's the sort of philosophy behind it that I think is problematic at the moment. Heather, what if you bent the left leg like they were trying to avoid stepping in muck? The left leg. So this one, the one on our right or the one on our left? His left? Their left? My left? Um, but yeah, I think I, I like the pose that there is in there. So if I do something similar. I do like that sort of slight off kilter. As if they are walking and almost, you know, that, that moment in the stepping forward where you could fall. Because obviously that's what fall, walking and running is. Um, I like catching that moment if I can. Um, Day one complete, is it on your channel, Extemple? Um, yeah, so I did a, uh, so I, I uploaded a YouTube video yesterday that is me redrawing another one of my Inktobos from 2017. I'm not gonna be doing the full challenge Inktober this year because I don't have the mental capacity for the stress of it at the moment. I am once again overshooting this completely. What am I doing? It's really difficult to focus. <laughs> um, but I am trying to do a few redraws. I do want to do some ink. I enjoy watching the sketching process. Oh, good, because I've literally not done anything else and I don't know how far I'm going to go on this. I'm going to do my best to get you... I don't know. I feel like I'm... Am I chatting too much? Is this... Am I doing a good measure between chatting with you and sketching? Should I be doing more art? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Rough sketch it is though, I'll start the inking in a few minutes. Oh, what are you drawing, Alice? You guys are doing well. Ah, I keep catching my hair. I had to tape, I don't know if you can see this. I had to tape my webcam to my stand because my stand wouldn't, oh, I've got makeup on, wouldn't like restrict close enough to handle the camera, so I had to tape it and my heck is getting caught in my in my camera. Is your Instagram linked on channel I found yeah. I would prefer if social media kept to their lane and TikTok was TikTok, Instagram photos and YouTube long form. Yes, yeah, same. But they're all trying to compete with each other. They don't want other platforms to have a market. And Instagram I I'm not gonna start on that. <laughs> I don't know. Instagram is absolutely depressing. I really think Instagram could be doing quite well if they kept to photos. I get the photos are not currently the fa the fashion, but my God, whatever they're doing is really not what's going what should be going on. Um, to be honest, TikTok have really overtaken everything. It's inc it's absolutely incredible what they've done with that platform. I don't I don't like what TikTok is in the sense that it just. Mm, Ethically, it's iffy, but then again, so are a lot of these social media apps. Um, I'm getting confused with what I'm doing, but yeah, I wish they all kept to what they want to do. I wanted to use TikTok for the thing that Chinese government gets all my data and any possible money I could make. Scary, yeah. 
yeah yeah <laughs> i can't argue with that honestly um it's it's uh yeah i'm on tiktok because instagram is impossible for me to earn a living on and so tiktok helps but um yeah i can't really defend it <laughs> there's nothing to defend honestly it's just a terrible terrible platform um and I hope that, I don't think there'll be an alternative anytime soon, but I hope there will be because it's just difficult to feel comfortable on it. Um, Inktober is a lot to commit to, it really is. I, and also, I, I don't, I want to spend more time on stuff these days. I have ideas, you know, that I want to spend a few days on and or weeks things like that. The live stream is perfect as is. I'm enjoying it immensely. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are nice. I'm... I need to drink. <laughs> I just realised my throat hurts. Perfect amount of chatting. Good. Thanks Bjorn. Why is this? Oh, it's because I'm putting my glass on it. That's why am I doing this? I've been avoiding putting my glass of water on my desk because I'm worried it's going to make the camera move, but I haven't attached <laughs> the camera to my desk specifically because it makes it move. Um, Tilson Tober. Oh my God, guys. I don't, that, 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 that gives me too much credit for the art you're going to make. I don't, I don't, you guys, I, like, I have nothing, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing my words. Like, I, I don't feel like I deserve for that hashtag to have my name in it. But I appreciate you doing so. It's very nice. Instagram is ridiculous and TikTok is so bad for any mature topic. And then, yes, and LGBTQI topics. My, my TikTok feed is wonderful. It's all just um, creators of colour, female creators, um, uh, all, all LGBTQIA creators. Uh, it's great. I have lots of, I have, like the first thing I ever got exposed to on TikTok was Indigenous TikTok. And it's so great. I get so many amazing people doing amazing content and I've learned so much. It's genuinely impressive and it breaks my heart because they are they struggle like TikTok is not it's not kind I mean TikTok is a reflection isn't it of the way things are going and society and most of social media are and so all the minorities that I follow and uh, enjoy the content of are the minorities that tend to get really slammed on social media and it breaks my heart because I see all these creators are just incredible incredible creators just being penalised for just being what they are and that like, on all social media platforms and TikTok particularly bad and uh, yeah it's very sad so you know try to inter interact as much as I can I'm so mad I left Instagram for about two years because I feel missed my chance to grow when it still kind of worked it is impossible to grow now it genuinely is impossible and I don't feel I feel so sorry for anyone who's trying to grow on Instagram right now because it's still really used as a social media platform it's still one of the big ones and so it's still necessary to be on it to some extent if you want to do stuff like this as a job if you have a business and stuff and you do instagram but it's a nightmare and uh yeah to be honest having a big a big an audience on instagram doesn't really help either i have the same engagement i had when i started like within a year of starting so it's uh <laughs> I have 70k something followers and I, I think I get the same engagement as if I had 10 um, so I don't know even having big big in big big it's not big ish followings don't seem to do anything on Instagram anymore I don't know what they're doing uh, shush we love you all. <laughs> thank you you're nice um, I'm being, um, I'm making, I don't know how to react to you being nice. It would be awesome to get a Tilson Toba. Um, I feel like I need to be involved in that hashtag more to deserve it being named after me. So, um, um, maybe one day I should come up with my own prompt list, but then if I come up with my own prompt list for Inktober, 
I would have to follow my own prompt list and I'm not good at following prompts. <laughs> so that's why I have not come up with my own prompt list is because then I would be tying myself down and I don't wanna, sorry. But there's lots of good prompt lists out there. TikTok gives me social anxiety, I'm too overwhelmed. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I had lots of references, what am I doing? Let's see. I need to make sure I'm, I take a lot of my reference because a lot of my characters are not dressed. A lot of my references pictures I take of myself. I tend to be not very very dressed. I can't show you, um, but I'm going to try and see if I am. I want to try and find. I like this hand. Sorry, I'll show you in a sec because I can actually, but I need to find, I should have really done this before. Okay, I like these hands. So, let's see. Screenshots, screenshots. I always pull a ridiculous face when I take references of myself. Um, I have to flip all of them because my camera doesn't take the pictures properly. So I have two references of my thief here and I like, oh did I choose the same hand? No I didn't choose the same hand. So I like this hand here. Oh, what are you doing? What's my phone doing? So I like this hand here, I like how it is, and I like the fact that there's a, so, so see, those legs are going like this, oh my god, my hair keeps getting caught, and maybe if I have a slight, so, in this one I have this balance like this, and it's standing still, I wonder if I wouldn't, I think the counterbalance of the shoulders would actually be interesting. So it would have the head like that and then the bon that arm close to the body. And then can I do it in a way that is actually Did you just give me 10 euros, Bjorn? I didn't even know the super chats were on. Thank you. What's a Google opinion reward? <laughs> Did they give you money for a survey? Reward? What is that? Thank you. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Thank you. Really appreciate that, Bjorn. Thank you very much. What app are you using for anatomy reference? Sorry if you've already answered it. I'm gonna type them in. Let me see. Ray of smoke. I'm using an app called Dukoshi. I think if you look up Alex Mautier R, she actually has accents <laughs> in hers because it is a French app. Les Carchés, and I don't because I've got an annoying English keyboard. Handy and Art Anatomy, I think. Yeah, Art Anatomy. And then actually I'm going to give you also the name of the one I use on my desktop which is called Anatomy 360 Skull Sketcher. And that one is free, I think. So here you go. I did a comment of the apps I use. Will, leave your, will you leave this video on your channel, Reb? Yes, I will. I'll leave all my, all my 
like all my live streams on there. Um, and I tried, I tried, I tried to add chapters afterwards <laughs> so that you don't have to sit through me not knowing the stream at start at the beginning, for example. Are there any sites you recommend posting art and any actually decent for artists? You mean to gain a following or just to sort of have an online portfolio? Um, I know Behance and ArtStation are... I'll, I'll type them. Bonlux. ArtStation and Behance. That's supposed to be quite good. I haven't posted my art on there because I tried not to spray myself too thin. <laughs> but uh, I would, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, difficult but yeah our station and behance are supposed to be quite good online portfolio sites i don't know how they fare when it comes to having an audience because building an audience on social media at the moment is basically just i'm sorry but it, it will be instagram tiktok twitter and youtube that's where that's where it is i'm trying to be more active on twitter but um it's it's hard <laughs> uh yeah building an audience right now i think is particularly hard because there used to be obviously more options and Instagram being what it is now has reduced the options, TikTok being what it is and being the sort of high maintenance platform that it is means that it's less accessible. Um, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's difficult at the moment, but yeah, putting your art on two or three different platforms and try not to spread yourself too thin, try not to have to keep up with too many platforms if you're trying to build a presence with your art online because you will burn yourself out if you have too many platforms you're trying to keep up with okay you could have a vague topic for the month rather than daily prompts like other hashtags yeah that's true or maybe one a week that's true I forgot there was other sort of combinations <laughs> I don't know why I went straight to daily prompts but that's true I could definitely um what was I doing yeah uh, have something that's a bit more focused on themes for bigger periods of time. It's a good point. I'll think about it. I won't do this year, but in future years, maybe I'll organize something. Google gives bucks for opinions. Yeah, so, um, I'm so, yeah, that's, that's right. I forgot about that. Google opinion rewards. I'm so curious. <laughs> uh, it would be nice if there was something like an online meeting room or some such where artists could all engage in chat while they each work on their own project. Um, yeah. I think people have like discords and stuff where people can do that. And I suppose streams are a bit that really. If you hold alt or option when pressing the key, the accents come up, I think. Seriously? Oh, no, I'm not in the right ping. I don't know. No. Oh. I have to play with that around if that's possible because I'm, it's very annoying to write, <laughs> to write stuff in French and not have the accents. Um. Alex, Licorchi, they then pronounce. Oh, I'm sorry. What's a deed poll? I'm sorry, I didn't realise you went by they then. Uh, I should have asked. But cool, yeah, definitely we'll use that. So Did you manage to make them official? That'd be really cool. Wow, that's really cool. Congrats. Hi Lucia. I like the outer community on Twitter, but I'm having a hard time getting more eyeballs on my out there. Yeah, it's really hard. I still have the biggest following on Instagram. Same. <laughs> Same. It's, uh, yeah. Twitter is um, uh, cryptic to me, honestly. Um, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how to spread stuff, because I've heard that having um, having hashtags isn't good for your posts and stuff but I don't really understand how you're supposed to get people to see your things as a result I don't know oh this is is this right 
No, this is too big. That's another thing that's difficult with creating characters that are half skeleton, half full body, because the, pr the proportions get all confused in my head, and I don't know how big stuff is supposed to be. Oh yeah, Tumblr. I don't know how Tumblr's faring at the moment. I used to have a Tumblr a long time ago, before it got bought up by... Did it get by... by... bought by Yahoo? Am I imagining this? It got bought up by someone and then they... <laughs> cracked down on what made Tumblr Tumblr. To sell Etsy, Redbubble, Store Envy, but artists sell often from their own website. Yeah, Etsy is um, expensive to sell on. They will definitely, if you have art that can have a, big, a bigger, a wider appeal uh, to a wider audience than my type of art, because I can't, like Etsy wouldn't help me. The good thing about Etsy is that you have access to like their pool of people. Your stuff gets seen by lots of people. You don't necessarily have to drive all the traffic yourself. But it is expensive and they are a bit exploitative of the people on there, I think. Um, but it's still all right. Store Envy is decent. It's not super high tech, but um, highly customizable shipping options, which is why I used them for a long time. No, that's not what the hand I want. Redbubble, Society6, all the print-on-demand websites, if you want to put your art to get them to get to sell stuff without having to have stock yourself, they're good. I have a Redbubble. Um, stuff sells on it every so often. I have one sticker design that's doing really well, to the point where it's getting stolen on Amazon. So do be careful with that for Society6 and like print-on-demand platforms. If stuff that goes, does well, um, it's easy for people to steal the designs, which is frustrating. That's not what I'm doing. That's not the reference I want for this hand. I want this hand. This hand here. Is that too confusing? Because you'd have... Does that work? Do they work together? Yeah, so you'd have... Like this, and then no, because it'd have to be a bit lower, like this, and then this hand here. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. If I have something a bit more like this, it'd be quite cool if the water was gathering inside the dress. Skin ish thing. So if there was like a bit of water there. And then the rest of it could be. Sorry. The accents are included in German Quartz keyboard for whatever reason. Are they? Oh, sorry to see you leave, Bjorn. Thank you again. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I, thank you. I really appreciate your donation. It's, uh, it's, it's, thank you. It's really helpful and really kind and really lovely. And I really appreciated the company, and I hope you'll have the most wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I've missed lots of comments, I'm sorry. Um, DeviantArt is where, is where I started, same, that's where I started, I played it, I think my profile's up there still which used to be a really lovely community, but I haven't been on there properly for a while. I think it has, it's not quite as nice anymore. Um, I think it was okay, as it was okay before it got sort of overtaken by what Instagram is basically. I think it's, uh, I don't know what it's like on Instagram, on DeviantArt anymore. Um, oh, I'd be curious actually. A deep pool 
deed poll is a UK thing to change your name, like after a wedding or gender stuff. You just write a letter signed with a witness and a lawyer person countersigns it. And so you did that? You got, you got, ah, oh, that's really, that's really cool. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Etsy is super expensive. Switched to website after three months of being on there. Yeah. I had an Etsy a long time ago and uh, just switch to store envy as an artist i just I, f I just figured i would try and drive as much traffic myself and most of my most of my sales come from people who appreciate my work and me and it's my audience basically so i don't think i would benefit very much from having the platform at the marketplace that etsy has personally i think a lot of artists don't some some do some really much do so it might just be that i didn't use etsy properly but it's just expensive to list on there and i um I can't afford as many expenses. Redbubble margins isn't very good, but it gets art out there. Pretty much, Redbubble, the only really real advantage to it is that, well, two advantages. People can find you fairly randomly, and uh, you don't have to process anything. The only thing that I'm not sure about with print-on-demand services is how ethical they are. I don't know where they get their stuff made, and that bothers me. Um, it's a rock and a hard place, isn't it? Do you survive? How, how, how much? <sighs> I don't know, complicated again, isn't it? You can just write keywords in your posts, like always the searchable on Twitter, but I usually find stuff by people retweeting. I follow a lot of accounts of people who just retweet a lot of art. Yeah, I think that's how my stuff gets, gets shown too, is people who retweet stuff, which I'm always amazed that people do retweet my <laughs> anything I do, really. <laughs> it's, really kind and I appreciate it a lot. The company I did it with supports MX and they then becoming official so I got a lawyer sign those where my printers and signifier apparently it helps making it a wider accepted thing. I can imagine it does yeah. I hope it becomes more accepted. Uh, I think it's slowly getting there. I know there's a lot of pushback but I always wonder what, like, I'm, I find that English is quite good for they, them pronouns, and I, I hope French becomes better with it. There's no real equivalent to they, them in French. Um, I have a, I know a non-binary person in France, and I don't, they, it's really tough for them, because there's no pronouns really that come to people more naturally for them. Hi, Yongo. Seems DeviantArt isn't so censored compared to Instagram. I've never had issues with Instagram censoring stuff personally, but I know a lot of people do. Um, for me, it's TikTok. I'm that close to getting banned on TikTok for some for some reason. I don't know why. My videos get flagged quite regularly, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's an automatic system. I don't know if it's uh, people reporting my stuff, but. Um, But yeah, DeviantArt, I remember being, I think, and Tumblr at the time too, were more friendly towards um, not safe for work and darker subject matters and stuff. Do I like it like this? I would like the dress to be a little bit further above. Do I like this pose for the hands? Could I have the hand be a bit higher? Eon, much respect for your amazing skills. I appreciate that, thank you. Really hard, hard on stream. <laughs> Don't think it's my best display, but um, it's really fun to have company, honestly. Oh wow, it's 5.30 already. Uh. Simon Kucho, here's what happens on Instagram, the art community is no growing because images no longer do good with the algorithm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. They're, they're, they're focusing on um, reels and videos. Instagram had um, the good fortune for themselves to do well when they tried, when they stole Snapchat is 
format and uh, it's done really well for them and so they think they can do the same with, Inst with TikTok but they're too late I think they are acting as if they want to take over the market from TikTok ow but they are too late and they are doing it really badly I really I, I mean I don't know I don't see behind the scenes in the Instagram um, offices I have no idea whether this strategy is working for them um, but as far as I can tell most people absolutely hate what Instagram is doing at the moment more more and uh I mean, art is not no priority for literally any platform. So we do tend to get penalised when platforms change their profile because we're not we're not lucrative to any platform, so they don't care about us. Did Cassandra make an ethical print on demand? But I'm not the person for that. Rather just paint. Yeah, <laughs> I relate. I relate. I've been doing a lot of research on ethical print on demand, and it's it's. It's it's just it just got damn tricky because otherwise you know stuff I don't know it's it's very complicated. Have a local exhibition with some other artists coming up. That's really cool. I hope that goes really well. Congratulations on that. Is it a physical exhibition then? Jeronimo, I've picked up drawing again very recently. I find finding your channel has been really inspiring. Thank you. Listening to you is really interesting and sincere. I appreciate that. I uh, I do strive to try and just be be genuine. I think people people and I, I that's something I struggle with social media with, particularly on TikTok. I find like. I can really pick up on stuff if people just are putting on a bit of a disingenuous show and I, I, I always find it difficult to connect to them so I always try to not... Yeah, what you see is pretty much me, <laughs> especially in these streams where I just go on and on and on about nonsense and completely get lost in my own train of thought. Um, so I'm glad, it, I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying these. Okay, I like this hand. I like these hands, sort of. I mean, they are not my best drawn hands because because I'm struggling. But I like this. There's something about it that looks like the person is about to fall. Although, completely wrong anatomy. Oh my god. I love, ooh, I love drawing skeletons, but in ink particularly. But I always struggle to put them in the right place. Um, I used Lel and Louis. Oh yes, I think I heard of Lel. In France, but it's a tongue twister, even for queer people like me. Yes, it's. It, I think the fact with the, the they them is just already part of the lang of the language, so it's just. I think people come to it more naturally. I hope it will come with French. Um, it'd be really good if we had. I, I think it will ultimately, but um, right now it's. I I I, I can't, or can't stop feeling like it's probably really tough for non-binary peeps in France because it's not it's not included in the language very much and I always wonder what that does to um, the psychology of it too I always wonder if it being in the language helps people accept it more I don't know I'd be interested in knowing if there's any studies about that sort of thing is that too high so I like this I do like yeah, I like this pose here. I'm not sure I like this pose for the legs anymore as a result. 
I do like this too. If I'm wondering when I sketches that I'll do different iter iterations and they'll be I'll jump back and forth between them and see some things I like about each and can't decide which one I prefer. Maybe if I add the face it'll help. I do like this drop shoulder and this slightly raised one. No. I'm doing a mess here. Yeah, I'm better at movement, I think. The other one was a bit stiff and awkward, I think. And this one is doing okay. Um, thank you, Alex. Oh, I never know whether to look at the chat in OBS or on YouTube. Um, oh, God, I keep switching back and forth, doing stuff, sorry. Hmm. This one also looked really forlorn and I want this one to look a little bit less so. It always looks a bit forlorn in my, or a bit sad in my sketches, I think because of the way I sketch, I roughly sketch the mouth. Oh, those eyes are a bit weird. a bit big. Doesn't really matter. The face is not something that I'm trying to sketch out properly yet. That always comes later. But I like that sort of like S shape like this. So the face is going that way, the body is going that way, the shoulders are like that, and the hands are like that, um, and then the face is like that, so there's like a nice fluidity with that. But now I need to decide on the legs, uh, on the legs, on the legs. And my instinct would be to have one leg like that. No. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh... Mm -mm. Oh, good luck with the munching and inking, Alice. I hope it goes well. I hope your drawing's going well. Um, physical in the local cooperative gallery. Wow, that's really cool. It's on a popular arty road. That's amazing. Congratulations. I, I hope this goes really well. In Arabic, the they, them don't work because it has two versions for female and, female and males. Yeah, it's the same thing in France, in French. Um, there's no, there's no they, them. I hope it'll sort of evolve towards one because I think it's a, it's a good thing to have. Yes, it is called. Um, yes, um, contra. Is that the name? Contra pasta. Contra. Contra posto. Contra post posto. Contra posto. That's the one. Yes. Indeed, Saman. Contra posto. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm okay. I agree. It's really cool. Hi, Jenna. I need to contact my local artist association to show with their co-op gallery. What's a co-op gallery? Is it just like sort of owned by lots of artists? Hi, Jessica. I'm working on my botanical oct inktober right now. Botanical bot. I have a problem with English words with too many A's in them. I, for some reason, get really confused and flustered by them and can't pronounce them. Botanical? Um, that's a really good film theme. Excited to do some inking. You were the person who got me to start Inktober years ago. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I doomed you. Uh, where in the poet? Maybe try sketching simple flesh legs and it will point to the position of the bones. Yeah. Yeah. That is a wise... UI wise. Um, I just, I, this is a part of the body I always struggled with is the midsection. Um, and I think, I think, If I have I think I'm going back to sort of what was here. Which makes the whole thing a little bit more static so the person wouldn't be looking like they are walking they through the water, wading. They would look like they are standing. Um And that can work too, I think. I do like stillness in my images. If you've seen my video from yesterday, YouTube video from yesterday, you'll see. I talk about that. I talk about how I like static poses quite a lot. I do love movement too, but I just think that my work is a bit more contemplative. Um, so still positions tend to work quite well. There's, with the contraposto, there's something quite classical about the pose of this character. And so if they were, if they were sort of like, if their if their hips were going this way and their legs were counterbalancing that then that could be really dainty that could be quite nice stop telling me to add ads google i don't want to Leave me alone. Oh, oh, ooh, what did I do? I did a thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry. You know the other thing I like about Twitter and Tumblr? I see a lot more art than I would ever see on Instagram poster now to be super polished to do well all kind of stuff interesting it, Tumblr was really hard for me when I had it I, could, I got no reach at all but to be fair I didn't stick with it all that long I think I had it for like a year or two I, it's still up there somewhere too I think but I never really understood how to grow but maybe I just did it wrong I wonder how it is now I've heard that it was doing better now Tumblr I, I enjoyed it at the time it was good fun uh, if it's doing better now, maybe I'll go back because I remember it being being much friendlier than, the <laughs> than other ones. But yes, I do feel doomed. I don't have as much time for it as I used to since I'm an art teacher now. But it's something I'm glad I did. Well, I'm very sorry for um, introducing you to to <laughs> to to the hell of a challenge that is Inktober, and uh, but. I'm sure you're doing great, and uh, I, I, you're a art teacher. That's really cool. Um, that must be really hard work, and I appreciate you doing it. I think art teachers are so important. It's really a pity that art is not prioritised in education. I think everyone can benefit from some art in their life, especially when we're children. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Caitlin. This is my first time catching your stream. It's lovely to have you. But I have been watching you since October 2018. Wow. Welcome. It's been a few years. Gosh. Thank you for being around for this long. I appreciate it. 
Run, owned and run by artists. That's really cool. Nottingham's Artists Association looks very lively and cool. I've got no excuses. No, you don't. <laughs> Social anxiety is a very good excuse. I have the same one, so I completely understand it. I'm not particularly proactive about being in galleries either, even though I live in London. I really should. But uh, yeah, so I completely understand not doing it. But you should. You absolutely should. It'd be really cool if your art was accepted in that in that uh, association. It's a uh, really fun. Plus, just meeting artists in real life. I find it very scary and I don't do it enough, but it's just good for the soul as artists. It's just, it just is. It's good to have people in real life that we can exchange sort of the uh, stories and lived experiences with. We are social animals after all. Face to face is what we are good at, good to, good, what's good for us, even when we've got social anxiety. <laughs> To a different color and see so mm. hi from australia i should be asleep though oh what time is it rosalie <laughs> um salmon that's really interesting i didn't know that the arabic language can't evolve because of the religion the quran is the standard yeah, I would assume it goes into slang then. That's fascinating, I didn't know that. Um, I guess I should stop doodling and, and get to inking soonish. Same. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> the stream is nearly over anyway. So I won't be able- I'm sorry, I said I would be inking on stream and I didn't. Ah, uh, false advertising. I'm sorry everyone. I just reached for a snack and your drawing is starting at me, is staring at me the whole time. <laughs> It's not judging you. It's not judging you. Eat. Eat. Eating is good. Eating should never be a bad thing. Eating is good. And I approve of you having snacks. I, right before the stream, I went to the post office and because the weather is getting dark, it's getting like horrible and cold. My boyfriend and I are starting to be snack season, so I went and shopped hungry, which, um, against conventional wisdom, and uh, brought back so many snacks. There's a really cool, like, I don't know what shop it is. It just, it's got lots of cool foods, and it has like a whole section of like Turkish nougat, and I bought a bunch of Turkish nougat, and it's got lots of Lots of Turkish foods actually, which are really tasty. And I bought way too many snacks. So I'm all for snacking. Snacking is good. Um. <laughs> oh, you can use Tilson Toba. I can't stop you from using Tilson Toba. <laughs> I can't stop you. I just don't feel like I've earned it. That That's all. So I'm, I'm just being... Um, coy about it because because you guys came up with the idea and and I feel I feel like I haven't earned it that's all <laughs> but you can absolutely use it I know I like Tumblr but didn't feel it was as easy to find new artists on there and people left in masses when it stopped yeah well I've heard it can do non safe non safe work content again so I'm wondering if it's not gonna lead to a bit of a, of a Tumblr revival you know um, but yeah, I agree. I always really struggled to find new artists. Like there wasn't that many people I could follow that, um, I'm really doing this wrong again. This is not, this is going too far. Um, I'm not trying to be super, I shouldn't try to be super anatomically correct because this is just really just me pose iterating, just figuring out what I want from my pose. I like how dainty this is actually. I like that it looks like the person is trying to protect their skin dress from the water but not doing a good job of it. I like how delicate the... I feel like if this was separated... I don't want to separate the image. So if you imagine it on the paper, it would go further above the head, I think. Or it might not have to, I don't know. Hmm, interesting. It could be cut off there. I do want some sky. Um, I think that is good. Mm, I'm getting ahead of myself. But 
I don't want to separate the piece into two even planes. So, because I could decide to have the surface of the water in the middle like this. But I don't want that. I think that's boring. <laughs> so, mm, this is complicated. Why did I choose to do this in water? Who knows? I don't know. Because I'm into water at the moment. I get, mm, I get film, themes like that that I can't let go of after a while. I'm doing bird tober. Bird tober? Are you drawing a bird every day? That's cool. Oh, there's a bird on the feeder. It breaks my heart. I can't show you the birds this time round. Mushtober? Fungtober? For like mushroom him tober. That's brilliant. Both of, those are so, both of those names are so funny. I love meeting other artists, especially when they discover they are also on your wavelength. Yeah! It's really important. Art is a sort of... Is a com like, mm, this is me being hypocritical, by the way, because I'm not very social and I should go out and meet more artists. So I'm preaching something I'm not doing myself and I apologise. But um, <laughs> do as I say, you know, you know, all that. Um, art is a community thing. It's like it thrives in community. It's a beautiful way to build community too. I think humans used to do arts and crafts and stuff all together and... Um, it's important, it's an important part of art that I should definitely reconnect with more, which I don't, and I'm bad for that. Don't follow my example. <laughs> don't become hermity and stay at home so much. 2.30am, mm. Rosalie. I really appreciate you being here and your commitment, and uh, hats off to you. Because <laughs> I would be dead if I was awake at 2.30am. You know, I turned 30. No, that's not true. I was going to say I was going to use 30 as an excuse for saying that I can't get, I can't stay up late. But that's not true. I was never able to. <laughs> I never enjoyed it. I was uh, never much of a staying up and being awake for too long person. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> London boy in New York. What are you doing in New York? This, isn't that even more expensive than London? I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you for being here. My partner speaks Arabic. My, oh, uh, it's going too fast. Will these streams be regular? It's nice to have the community of the stream. Yes, I'm hoping to. Um, I keep thinking, I keep meaning to set up a stream schedule, but um, this is my first stream where I haven't had an art piece complete. Like, no, that's not true. I usually like prefer to have an art piece ready to do on the stream so that I can paint. Sketching is harder on stream for me because a lot of it is very mental like I have to think about the process I think I'm drawing a lot more and it's it's difficult for me to focus on things at the same time so this is not my ideal stream but you guys seem to be enjoying me sketching things um, but yes I would like to make them more regular and I would like to have more stuff ready the hell is this What is this? How do I block someone out? What the hell is this? Can I? How can I? How come I can't block a new user? Okay. Oh, who is this? It's great to be able to work at the same time as you, it creates an art studio atmosphere to work out. Yeah! To work. Yeah! I really like having you guys here. It's difficult, like I said, it's difficult for me to focus on both sketching and chatting. And I think it'd be easier for me if I was painting. So I do prefer having stuff ready. And I failed this time, I'm sorry. But it, it's just, I think you are, you guys are sort of one of my the steps I'm making to try and be more social as an artist. And you guys are really helping me. Get out of my head and just be a bit more, you know, out there and a bit, a bit more chatty. And it's really nice to talk to people who are also artists because I don't have many of those in my life. So thank you for being here. You are my community and I'm glad that this stream can work for you too. I'm doing the 51st page of a comic project. Wow. This 
two types of art that I have. I have admiration for every type of art, honestly. But there's two types of art that I think are godly, and that's animation and comics. I don't get how people do them. It's incredible. And good luck. It's amazing. I... Oh, are they still posting? No. Okay. Those, like, spam comments. Oh, one day I'm going to have to get moderators, aren't I? Blah. Uh, have you tasted Turon? It's a Spanish nougat made from almond and peanut paste. I think I have, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will have to try it again and let you know. <laughs> it's uh, such a sacrifice. Try a treat. Um, different from drawing rats, but we'll be in king. I'm doing peach tober. Oh yeah. Last minute decision because I wanted some sort of prompt list. Love hearing what you all are doing. I love hearing what other people are doing too. Peach Tobo is so fun. I really like her work. She's uh, she's so whimsical and colourful. The opposite of me. And I love it. It's really great. An art event focused on mental illness and healing art. Then you don't need prompts and it's super inclusive and can create a huge following. Yeah, that could be cool. I wonder how to do that. Because I think it needs it would need some sort of focus to sort of draw everyone together, not just the like the, the the overarching theme. But that could be really cool. It could be something really nice, especially because I think October is men mental health awareness month, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah. Bot attacks. I don't know where they came from either. I tried to delete them. Have they been deleted? Can you guys still see the spam comments? Rosalie, I'm 54. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you're better than me <laughs> then. Because uh, I'm 31 and I'd be dead at 2.30 a.m. I would be grumpy and uh, not happy to be there. So my hat's off goes, my hat's, my hat goes off to you. And I appreciate you being here quite a lot. <laughs> it gives me hope too. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe I'm, I'm the opposite, you know, maybe you, I'm, I'm the type of person that was not much of a of an active night person throughout my youth, but maybe as I get older I'll, have, I'll be better at it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, there's still hope for me. <laughs> I've reported the bot peeps should be okay now. Me too! I, can't, I couldn't block them, there was no option to block them, I don't know why. Miriam, maybe you need a mod, though. I know. I don't, I feel bad asking anyone to be a mod, though. Because that means they need to show up when I'm streaming and that. I don't know. I can't block it, Salmon. There was no option to block it. There was, like, literally just an option to hide the user from channel and delete the comments and then report it. Which I, I did all the things, but there was no, like, block option, strangely enough. Um, it's ADHD Awareness Month just reminded me. <laughs> yeah, I think it is Mental Health Awareness Month too. I think I think this might be the. I don't there's a day specifically, or is it the whole month? I don't remember, but I think that's partly why I did the mental health theme for my twenty seventeen October, was because October was Mental Health Awareness Month. Comic books artists are so fast in making figures. I know they're amazing, even when it's in perspective. It scares me sometimes that animators are even faster. They're incredible. They, so many skills go into comic making. I really want to make a comic one day, but I don't know that I'm good enough. And animators and comic artists are just... The amount of skills they have to learn is mind-blowing, and they're so good at it, and it's beautiful. And I, I'm in awe of people who are able to to iterate and just draw the same, same similar things in different angles and create a story like it's absolutely incredible. I, I, Amazing. Oh no, extempore. Get some sleep. The bots are defeated. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Did I ever tell you I used to be a published comics art? No? Are you serious? Can I read your comics? That is blocking, is it? Usually they're like, oh, interesting. I wonder why that is not the word they use. Happy ADHD and Mental Awareness Day. Yeah. There's one in May. Yeah. Well, you know, every every day should be Mental Health Awareness Day. 
but you know having dedicated ev events that main people talk about it is good I meant to say month yes it is isn't it yeah I think it is a month the whole month of October might be set tracking here but I remember once you saying your favorite game is Horizon Zero Dawn so have you played the sequel I have I love it I I I it's the when it came out my boyfriend bought it for me because he's lovely like that and surprised me with it when you think and uh, I, all I did in my spare time was play Horizon Forbidden West for days and days and days. <laughs> and now I'm getting increasingly angrier that the um, the DLC hasn't come out, but I'm seeing all the news of all the show and stuff that they're doing. And I don't care. I don't care about the TV show. I want a DLC. I want to play Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West. I did replay Horizon Zero Dawn afterwards. Um, yeah. I really like Forbidden West. Flying was cool. Swimming was fun too. I was dreading that. And it was actually really fun. That game is beautiful. I love that game so much. Hit that and Breath of the Wild are the two games that I nearly finished. I'm not notorious for finishing games. I tend to chicken out before the end of the game. Um, but those two games are the closest I've gotten to finishing anything. I left the industry because it had become as bad as the digital art industry. Being disabled, I can keep up with the workload. Yeah. I think that's one of the things I hear most about the comic industry is just how it works everyone into the ground. Um, and that, I think that, and for no revenue really either. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised and uh, completely understand that. I've got to go. Bye, Jessica. I'll check out the tag too. Thanks for creating a tag. <laughs> I would absolutely, I was so excited to see what you guys have done during the stream. Um, and I'll, I'll make sure that to finish this too. I'm gonna work on it in the coming days. I've also got three more paintings to do. Um, can I show you my, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working on. It's not gonna fit. Oh, it doesn't fit. This is one of the paintings I'm working on at the moment. And this is the Stranger Things fan art that I'm working on too at the moment. Which I'm really excited about. It's very late. <laughs> it's not the hype anymore. But uh, hey, I'm always late on stuff like that. And it takes me forever to work on stuff, so you know. All my, a lot of the people who worked on the Vecna makeup were my colleagues on Game of Thrones and my boss. His company is the one that did the Vecna makeup. So seeing the behind the scenes was giving me so much FOMO. <laughs> so I decided I'd do a little bit of a fan art of him. And yeah, I think these will be cool and fun. And I'm gonna go soon because it's six o'clock and I need to get ready for dinner. But um, I'm trying to be an illustrator and tried my first animation recently, it's super hard trying to draw the same thing over and over yeah it's really really hard it's it's so many skills too because not only do you have to be able to draw something in different angles but moving and you have also to make it smooth and just ah i've got so much respect for animators i love the original i haven't the ps5 yet and so i'll have to wait yeah we we don't have a ps5 either we have a ps4 it works on there uh, you can play it on there. Last of Us is another five of mine. I am too much of a wimp for The Last of Us. <laughs> I watch anyone play, but <laughs> I'm such a wimp. Um, Apex Legends now, which works on PS4, so good for a while. Oh, I don't know that one. Bye, Jessica. Yeah. Bye, Jessica. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much for being on here. I look forward to seeing what you put on the tag. Whitney, I'm a big Skyrim fan. I did enjoy it. My first video game that I ever played was Oblivion on my brother's Xbox and that was good fun. I remember loving that but again I'm a wimp and I couldn't go into the hellish bits. <laughs> I probably would be able to now but at the time I, I, I was scared which is ridiculous. I'm, I'm ridiculous. I feel both comic artists and animation artists are really exploited despite the crazy yes skill and talent and workload absolutely. I've rarely heard of any 
any comic artist or animation artist being both paid their worth and not having to work their life away. Love the coffee cup in the picture. Thank you. Um, I hope it will turn out okay, that painting. I've got plans for the lighting that are a bit tricky, so we'll see. A good news independent independent comics that are more and more common. They are, yeah, but it's still so much work. Um, but yes, they are, indeed, indeed. I'm hoping that one day I can make one. I would really like to. This is a wonderful live stream you made my day. Well, you made mine. Thank you for being here, Adrian. I really appreciate every single one of you for being here. <laughs> it's really fun and you've really cheered me up. I was not gonna lie, the I'm just tired and, and I'm quite tired these days and a bit overworked and so the stream not working at the beginning made me nearly cry. <laughs> or nearly cry. I think I cried. And so you guys have cheered me right up. I really appreciate that. I would love to see anything you've worked on in the comic industry, Alex, if you're able to share. Because uh, your work is so cool. And uh, definitely check out their work, guys, if you don't know Alex, because it's it's along the same lines as what I do. It's surrealism and it's fantastic. Really, really cool. Um, I was going to ask how the switch from makeup in film and TV to art was. I do want to make I do want to make a video on why I switched industries and how it went. Um, it. I'm I'm glad I left, but I do miss it. I loved the job. The job was really fun. I had some really good times. Um, I don't think I was in the right mental frame to do it uh, but I can expand on that in the video um, but yeah I, 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 I want to make a video on that because people ask me regularly why I left and all that yes the sequel works on PS4 it does we don't have a PS5 um, we have a we have a PS4 it does <laughs> Procreate has a good animating software. It does, yes. I have used Procreate to try and animate, and it's all right. I cannot replay part two. It was a real emotional adventure. Part two of The Last of Us. Is that the one you're referring to? It looks quite sad. This was a real treat. Oh, where Flea. I love your username. My boyfriend um, calls me Flea as a nickname. And uh, <laughs> I like your username. <laughs> Catherine Person, oh, I just got back after setting up, and the sketch is so good. Thank you. I am sorry I didn't draw more than this. I was really hoping to do lots and lots of inking and stuff, and I didn't. I'm sorry. I hope this was not disappointing. I will plan the next one better, and I will have a proper drawing to do, and I'll try and. I'm gonna have to practice quite a bit at both chatting and drawing or painting so bear with me i'm still quite a newbie at inking inking streaming so i'll get there <laughs> uh i love this thank you creative Fay. my first live after finding your 2017 versus 2022 video oh cool been fun and lovely community feel thanks to everyone thank you for being so active in the chat extempore i really appreciate it it's really nice to hear what you guys are up to You've been really uh, helping keep up the chat, which is really nice. You and Alex doing great. So many of you are doing really fun, really good, and really keeping this really energizing for me. And it's really nice to have something to read and um, how do you call it? Bounce off of. I think that's what I mean. So you've been a really great chat. Thank you. We need to talk then. Yes, I, we absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, one day I hope to meet you in real life, Alex. <laughs> I feel like we've been like internet peeps for a little while so um I also never replied to your comment where you were saying you wanted to paint people I'm sorry I get overwhelmed by comments on Instagram but get in touch absolutely I'm not very good at replying to stuff because I get overwhelmed by DMs and things um but don't ever take that as a sign that I don't want to talk long days for the makeup I imagine yeah I never minded that I uh, you in prosthetics you have workshop work which is where you make all the prosthetics and that's usually like fair well it's not normal hours but it's reasonably normal hours and then you have on set stuff and uh when i was in the workshop i used to do like it would be eight to five or six 
so regular days but the workshop was an hour and a half away drive <laughs> from my home so that was long but make like when we were on game of thrones i think it was season seven which season has the children of the forest i don't remember but we worked on them and uh there was i remember one time we'd gone home for the weekend we would we were on set during the weekend we'd gone home for the weekend and we were flying back to set and there were storms or something i don't remember what it was but the planes got delayed and we arrived in our hotel in Belfast at two in the morning and we had to get up to go on set and start work at 3.30 in the morning. And I don't remember that time. I we were all high on not sleep. Like we were just out of it. We just did our job and we were all so tired. But some of my, some of the team, the team that had to take care of um, our main child of the forest had to get up at like half one once and usually for us it was a bit later it was like three or four in the morning but i liked it there's something there's a weird energy that goes on when everyone is going through something like that and i miss that i miss that set energy a lot um oh my gosh stranger things and yes i will have i try to have a moderator i just don't want anyone to feel obligated to be there doing the stream i feel bad um well, I hope your creative day will be wonderful. Creative day. Long days, blah, blah, blah. I've missed that one. Are you? Blah, 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 blah. I've lost track. Whitney, I used to do stop motion, wow, a while ago. and enjoyed it a lot, but now I can't seem to figure out technology. Like, stop motion animation is incredible. That's another type of animation I can't wrap my head around. The patience. I'm not that patient. And, ah, oh, really appreciate it. Have a lovely day, Virginia. Um, this was not a disappointing live stream at all. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so glad. Good, good. Bon, um, bon Licks, I'm so glad you enjoyed the stream too. Oh, thank you, Alex. Oblivion, I played it. And Morrowind. Never played Morrowind. My boyfriend did say I should because it's really good. I do like the visuals of it. Like what I've seen of the visual of it. Sounds really cool. I should try um, Elder Scrolls games. It was such a great stream. Oh, I'm sorry, Kathy. I'll have another one. I'll have another stream. Um, and the stream will be up also but on, on YouTube. I know it's not quite as fun as being live, but if you want to see what it's like. Following subjects for future. Following subject for future? Is the tag on Insta? I think so. I'm not the one who initiated it, so it might... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try and look back through the comments and share it on Instagram and so that my following can see it if you want because I love seeing your work be great having a tag for what you create on stream is such a good idea uh, thank you very much to Desiree and I think who was it that who was the other person but was it Bon Licks or Link who had the idea for the tag great idea genuinely thank you very much I look I really look forward to seeing the stuff in the tag uh, I buy werewolf. <laughs> I like it. I like it, Werefly. I um, that's not how I had understood your nickname initially, and this is even better. Being a Werefly, this peak humour, in my opinion, I like it a lot. See you on Instagram, okay? Salman, uh, I have a very weird energy. Oh, I'm sorry. In a good way, in a bad way. Um, Oh, hi Humphrey and Desiree, I agree with Wandering Journey, we should embrace that. This month is dedicated to mental health care and post our art to encourage healing. Yes, I think that's a very good idea. I'll try and think about that a bit more and see what I can organise around it. Bye Werfly, bye Bonlix. Uh, thanks Nenning, always lovely to have you. And you were the first person to buy a calendar, Nenning. So, um, thank you. It was a, uh, yeah. I will probably send your Patreon rewards with the calendar. Um, I enjoyed the stream, thank you so much. Thank you very much to do, and I enjoyed it very much. And uh, you guys were super great. Um, a stream is a collaboration between the streamer and the chat. 
and you guys made it very easy for me and I really appreciate that. Thank you again so much and uh, I'll see you very soon. I'll try and organise, I'll try and like plan the next one a little bit more in advance. <laughs> I always plan them a bit late. I'll do best, my best to do so for the next one and have a bit of a schedule at some point. I'll try and put a schedule at some point. That'd be good. So people see them coming so they're not just random. But yeah, I'll work on that. Have a lovely evening everyone and have a lovely weekend. And to anyone who's uh, at night, <laughs> go to sleep. Thank you for not sleeping to watch me. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you very very soon. Bye everyone. And thank you, thank you Link. I hope it'll turn out okay. I'll share it, I'll share it with the tag. Bye everyone. <laughs>